guys, welcome back again, Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel that is your home for tech toys and talk. We're back again for, well, another unbox. Now, this is actually um, some of our little holiday unboxing. Um, this past holiday season, uh, here, in the, here in the Dimension, uh, we actually celebrate uh, Christmas here. So, Mrs. Dimension knew that I was eyeing this, and I was this is one of my top items I was hoping for. And I, this was definitely one of my items I'm hoping for. You guys know me. I love Ghostbusters. So, this is something I've been eyeing at, which is uh, actually... Let me just show you guys. It's actually a video game storage uh, cabinet, along with... You can have your, your controllers right here on the side, on either side. So, you could have up to four controllers. And you could have your headphones right at the top. So, that would be a nice little... A nice little thing I can do here, because as of late, I would hang my headphones right here. I got my mic stand right here. And, of course, I have a little bit of miscellaneous items here. But I have my Xbox hidden right be right below here. But, just to give you guys a better look, yes, my Xbox has Ghostbuster-themed caution tape. And I have a uh, brand, a Skinnit brand uh, on my Xbox. Uh, so yeah, this is going to complement it very, very, very nicely. And this is good for not just Xbox, because obviously you guys can see my gamer tag right down below, DJ Leap 1015 on Xbox. But you can also use you can use this for PS4, PS5, Xbox, Xbox X series, so on and so forth. And you could even use this for Switch. They say I'm guessing mostly for the the control, uh, maybe not for the controllers, but at least for the uh, storage. Uh, of the games here but guys enough love talking let's get right into this guys now this you can find on amazon and i'm gonna have a link in the video description below so please check that out i'm gonna see if i, if I can also find links for this at other sites so you guys can kind of shop and compare maybe there there's gonna be a promotion code on a specific website so we're gonna give that to you guys as well so you guys can check that out and we got all of our on the side, you're going to see registered communities. This is all your pet pending. Jiguro, Jiguro. There's no model number. If there is, there should be U USPC. Right here. So those guys who have an interest in that. There's your numbers right there. So hopefully you can catch that without glaring. Pause the video to write that down. There you go. And this is trademark 2022 Columbia Pictures. Obviously, this is officially licensed through... Columbia, Sony, and of course Ghost Core, if you're a Ghostbusters fan. So guys, let's get right on into this. Let's open this up. Got some tape on the side. So we're going to use our little handy dandy hobby knife. Remember, you will never want to cut towards yourself. You want to cut away, guys. You avoid trips to the ER that way, or at least tons of bandages. So let's pull this right out. Oh, this is a good size, man. I was thinking this might be a bit small, but it uh, looks like we got some good, uh, good size assembly here. We got our little paper, so we're going to stow, stow the box off to the side. Oh, oh, we got a few more. What else do we have in here? There we go. Test the box off. This is obviously by Numskull. They make a lot of very cool items, and I'm going to have links into their video or to their website in the description below. But we get a nice little numskull.com. There you go. So I'm going to have their links in the video description below as well. So let's get right on into this. Obviously, there is some assembly required. Ghostbusters Gaming Locker. Assembly guide. We have pictures. We have pictures with pictures. Numbers and pictures. And pictures and numbers. So that's obviously how we're going to put this bad boy together. And. Now I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. We're going to cut directly into that. With the magic of video editing. Besides guys. Here's our doors. We have hinges on here, so obviously there's going to be some screwing uh, involved. Get your minds out the gutters, guys. 
So what I'm going to recommend is you're most likely going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver or a flathead, but we'll confirm that in a matter of minutes. So yeah, we're going to get right into this, guys. Now, like I said, I'm not going to bore you guys to death with this. I'm going to assemble it myself, and then we will pick the video back up after it's assembled. Here we go. You guys know who to call. Dave's Dimension. Okay, so here we are. We have it finished. Well, kind of finished. Now, I'll give you guys a nice little overview. This is how it looks assembled. Now, uh, we'll give you guys a few pointers. Now, you don't have to have all of these, these slot right out. So, if you don't want to use them as, as controller holders, you don't have to. And it also depends on if uh, how much really uh, how much real real estate you have as far as uh, space. So maybe you just want to keep these off because maybe you only have room for so much space. Now yes, uh, there is no back on here, no back whatsoever. But that's perfectly fine. You know you're probably going to have this flush up against a wall or a shelf or on your desk somewhere. Now just to show you guys here, let me give you guys the proper overview. Now, most of this snaps together. There is some uh, some assembly required. As you guys saw, they're all various loose pieces. Now, I did have my screwdriver here, which I did not need because they give you a small little screwdriver, not magnetic, nor the screws do not feel magnetic. They actually feel like a plastic. And you will need to screw the hinges onto the, do uh, the doors onto the actual cabinet itself. And you'll need to screw the top uh, headphone mount onto the top here. Now, my recommendation, it does not say this in the instruction book, but I would assemble the, I would screw the doors, uh, the hinges onto the frame. I would screw them onto the walls here before you start assembly at all. That's going to make the easiest plan of attack because guess what? Um, I had to take this apart. <laughs> Because when you go through here, they don't make references to the doors until like the absolute end. Like almost right here. When we already have the framing, uh, the frame of the cabinet itself, everything's thrown in right there. So that's one thing I would highly recommend. Um, also, let's take a look at this. So. We have our, now this is perfectly sized so that you can take a standard Xbox or PlayStation uh, game game case. And we should be able to slide it directly in. And it fits like so. It comes right out. Now, you could also use this for DVD storage too. That works perfectly fine. Because we all know DVD cases, Xbox or PlayStation cases, they're all about the same. Uh, and coincidentally, this is a new game I picked up. It was on clearance on X on uh, GameStop. Observer. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't cracked this open. As you can see, it's still wrapped. So that might be something we might feature sometime in the future. Now, there is a little bit of a tab here. So this is going to be the side that comes down. And there is a little mag magnetic piece right here. So this will not flip open. We do have a drawer, though, that will slide, <laughs> slide forward. But as you guys can see, the doors are... I mean, it takes a lot of shaking for that to come through. I mean, you're not going to have... This is going to be sitting upright. And it's fairly solid, too. You might be saying, Hey, Dave, how well does a pair of gaming headphones fit on there? Excuse all the sound and background noise. Now... There we go. I have a pair of HyperX headphones right here, and it sits perfectly on there. Now, there are some tabs here. Uh, let me give you guys a little bit better overview. There are some tabs, as you can see, on the front and on the back here. So, and these will keep your headphone on there pretty, pretty, pretty solid, pretty sturdy. Now, there is nothing for cable management, per se, okay? When it comes to your headphones, what I usually do is I just kind of... wrap them up and I'll just slide it over the mic and hang it like so 
I mean, that is something you definitely can do right there. Uh, this is hollow. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you can get like a little 3M hook, put it right on the inside here, and that's where you can hang your wires right here. That's something that you guys can do. That's a nice little thought right there. You can get yourself like a little 3M uh, hook. And the one I'm referring to, I'm actually going to have a link in the video description below. And I think that's a pretty cool, smart idea right there. You can just kind of kind of hang your headphone wires right there. And to kind of give it a nice, clean, fresh uh, cable management right there. So that's pretty cool. Now, you might be saying, okay, Dave, what about those little holders you were talking about? They're pretty, uh, pretty wide. And they just slide into place, and you can slide them right back out if you want to. Now, I only have just the one controller. But, as you can see, it holds that controller perfectly fine. Yes, I do have a Ghostbusters <laughs> controller. Again, I there's a company I went through where you can upload any image you want. And you can create skins, basically decals, that will go on any controller... Any console that you have in mind, I'm going to have a link to them in the video description below as well. No, I have no affiliation with them, but it's just something cool. I'm kind of someone that likes to customize things. So yeah, I can throw these. They give you four of these holders. Uh, I'm not going to be using them because I just have the one controller, obviously. And in the future, I am hoping to maybe switch from Xbox over to PlayStation. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, your boy has a few uh, Proton Packs that he's looking to sell right now. Uh, so, any Ghostbuster fans out there looking for some Spirit Halloween Proton Packs are already specked out and good to go. You guys can hit me up on Instagram and I can hook, I can let you know what we are trying to do. So yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, it holds it pretty nicely. I mean, is it perfect? No. But it's something you can do. It is a thing you guys can do for your basic storage so it's out of sight out of mind you know where your controllers are you're good to go and you guys saw that we have a drawer right here at the bottom let's say maybe you have some char charging wires or maybe uh some you know like an aux cable or extra battery you know maybe you keep some extra batteries that go you can keep them right in your drawer i mean that's a thing you could do guys it is a thing you can do so there we go all in all, I'm loving this. This looks awesome. I can't wait to situate this over uh, off to the side so I can have my Ghostbuster. My gun, well, my Xbox One is a uh, all Ghostbuster GB themed, and now I have an accessory cabinet for all my gaming needs and accessories. And like I said, you don't have to use this for Xbox or PlayStation, you can use this for games. I mean, your PC games, they come in roughly the same same kind of cases as they do for console games. But also, you can just th you can just use this for your, uh, for some, you know, maybe you got a few favorite DVDs. You know, maybe like, I don't know, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, maybe your Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters animated series. Or the Extreme Ghostbusters you have on maybe DVD or Blu-ray and you want to keep them stored, you can keep them right here. So this serves many purposes. You don't have to have this uh, this headphone uh, holder up top. You can unscrew this and it could just be a flush kind of a cabinet. So that is something that you can always can do, guys. There's a lot of things you can do with this. On a scale of 1 to 10, um, as far as usability... Um, I'm definitely going to say this is, this is probably going to be a nine. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. It'd be nice if there was a back on here. Um, I will say this, it would be even cooler if the, uh, if this lit up, that is the GB logo. If it lit up, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, the assembly, the assembly is, uh, leaves some, 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 some desire. Okay. Um, the assembly on a scale of 1 to 10, I probably would give it about a, f maybe a 6. I mean, it could be worse. It's just the annoyance that the instructions weren't 100% clear. Uh, just, and the print is very small. It's very hard to read the print. I mean, I can hold this right up here. It's not that large. Um, 
I mean, again, it could be, it could be far worse. It definitely could be far worse. Uh, but as I said, I would highly recommend if you if you get this. And what Ghostbusters fan doesn't want this? I mean, come on. Uh, I'm loving this. I I think it looks awesome. Looks very cool. And like I said, I'm going to set this off to the side with my uh, Xbox, and we're going to have this uh, good to go for maybe a game stream coming soon. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but again, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this about uh, 8.5 to a 9. Uh, like I said, the assembly is something a little bit lacking, a little bit to be desired for. <clears throat> I mean, they could easily give us a little hook back here so we could wind up our cords. But I get that also this is the day and age of wireless headsets that most people are using Bluetooth. They're not using any kind of an aux cord of any kind or any kind of an audio jack of any kind uh, that shows you uh, how, you know, how I am with the time. So I'm so far back. <laughs> but if you prefer a wired headset or if you're, you know, that is your preference. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have the link for the 3M hook that I'm proposing to use on the back of here. I mean, I like that this is this is very lightweight by the guys. This is so lightweight, it's not even funny. I mean, I think my headphones probably weigh more than the case itself, to be honest. Uh, but it's a nice, clean look. I love that we have the prints on here. We have the official trademark branding, all rights reserved right here at the bottom. Uh, but we get the Ghostbusters branding, and we get a saying, well, there's something, uh, something you don't see every day. Um... Uh, the doors, probably if you play around with the hinges, you can get them to line up perfectly. Mine are a bit askew. That could just be the prints, but I'm loving this, guys. And why, would I, why wouldn't I love this? It's Ghostbusters, and it's a gift from my wife. So, there we go. So, guys, if you have any comments, questions, concerns about this, uh, this offering here from Numbskull, uh, this video game console now there's a lot of different versions of this there's an xbox version i mean there's so many different versions out there and you know there's so much you can do i definitely recommend checking out numbskull and also they have these available at other websites and i'm going to throw a few links in the description below the different retailers where you may be able to pick up one of these yourself so guys until next time this is dave's i mentioned saying if you guys liked this video, give me that thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know in the comments section below. Give me your comments, your questions, your concerns. And guys, as always, you know what I'm going to say. I say it every time. Keep on busting, and I'm always going to catch you on the flip side. Take care.